Uh, so we have been looking at, in our episodes we started with when we were looking at sulfur and its compounds. We started with the sulfur, its occurrence, how you can obtain it. We looked at the forms of sulfur. Uh, now, having looked at sulfur, physical properties and its chemical properties, now we come to the compounds of sulfur. Now, once you combine, you look at the chemical properties of sulfur, we form compounds in the process. Now, we want to look at those different compounds of sulfur. So we have what we call compounds, compounds of sulfur, compounds of sulfur. Now to begin with, we start with the oxides, basically sulfur, sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide gas, SO2, sulfur dioxide gas. Now we start with laboratory preparation, laboratory, laboratory preparation, laboratory preparation of sulfur dioxide gas, laboratory preparation of sulfur dioxide gas. And what comes into our mind, we think about sodium sulfide and dilute sulfuric acid. Then concentrated sulfuric acid as a drying agent, we need, we look at requirements. What do you need? Requirements. We need reagents. We need reagents uh, like sodium sulfide. Sodium sulfide and dilute sulfuric acid when you have that then you have your sulfur dioxide form then we also need a drying agent a drying agent in this case is called concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid then we also need we also need uh, apparatus we need apparatus apparatuses to include uh, the round bottomed flask we need the round bottomed flask we need the dropping funnel we need the dropping funnel or which you can call the thisto funnel uh, we need um, wash bottles. These wash bottles help us to hold the drying agent, like concentrated sulfuric acid being a liquid. Then we also have gas jars. Gas jar. Um, gas jar. Uh, and of course, we need a retort stand. We need a retort stand to support our apparatus. But of course, when we are looking at procedure of preparing sulfur dioxide gas in the laboratory, you should be knowing this on the fingertips. You don't need to write them again. Do I have a drying agent? Do I have the reagents like sodium sulfite and the dilute sulfuric acid? Yes. Do I have the apparatus required? Yes. Now that brings us to the illustration. I don't know whether it will fit here. Uh, also, another requirement when we are looking at laboratory preparation, do I know, am I well equipped with uh, balancing the chemical equation? Yes. If I react sodium sulfite and dilute sulfuric acid, do, what do I get? The products. Before you write the chemical equation, you should be knowing the products after reacting your reactants. What am I supposed to form? Then that takes us to what we call a diagram or illustration diagram. Uh, so we have uh, our thistofano. We said chemical chemistry illustrations. You don't need to use a ruler. Use free hand and a pencil. But in examinations, if you trust your 
hand and you are very neat, you can use a pen, but a pencil is better for illustrations because once you make a mistake, you can easily erase. So that is our Tisto funnel goes through up to the bottom of a round bottomed, up to the base of a round bottom flask, make it a bit bigger. bottom flask. Then there we need a wire gauze. We need the wire gauze put on a, a tripod stand. Put on a tripod stand. I will only show tripod is supposed to be having three but me I show two. Um, this provides us with heat. So among the requirements we need, we also need a heating source for this reaction, heating source, like a Bunsen burner, Bunsen burner, and then we also need a retort, among the, we need a tripod, a tripod stand. Uh, so we have our delivery tubes also in place, delivery tubes our delivery tubes make sure you are very neat when you are putting your illustrations uh, now we need to cook we need to cook this round bottom first that. Now we have a mixture. We have our sulf sodium sulfite, sodium sulfite, then the acid also finds its way through the dropping funnel. The acid also finds its way through that. Now we have sodium Sodium sulfite. Um, then we have the top. Bringing in the root. Sulfuric acid being a liquid. Uh, the root sulfuric acid being a liquid. Uh, then we have our wash bottles. We have our wash bottles. Make sure you draw this very nicely. Uh, wash bottles. You don't need to use a ruler, but rather free, free hand. hand on the front surface. Um, make sure you bring the delivery tube to the drying agent. Uh, this is sulfuric acid, your drying agent. Make sure you don't leave it open for the escape of any gases formed. Uh, so we have our gas dried and after having the gas dried, we look at the method of gas correction. Make sure you are neat. Don't use a ruler. Um, 
So we collect our gas in a gas jar. In a gas jar. Um, so this is our gas. Now this is depressed air because it is less dense than air. So this is the direction of the gas. This is a drying agent, concentrated, concentrated sulfuric acid. Avoid, avoid to have abbreviations like conk. Then you put what it's meant for to dry the gas. Then here we have sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide gas. This is a delivery tube, when if you label one delivery tube, this is the round bottomed flask, round bottomed flask, and then this is the, our tripod, our tripod stand. Of course we have, we have the, the crumbs from the crumbs from the retort stand supporting this thing in, in space. So that is how you can have the arrangement of laboratory preparation of sulfur dioxide gas. So we are going to look at procedures. Of course with the procedures we will be getting them from the uh, arrangement of the illustration or the diagram that gives you the flow. But in some questions they will ask you uh, 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 that with, uh, without, I uh, will say, describe how sulfur dioxide gas can be prepared in the laboratory. Then they put in brackets from the reagents, from the name reagent, then they put in brackets, diagram not required. Once they ask you that question, then you don't need to put a diagram. For you, what you need to put there is the naming the reagents. Uh, putting chronological order or chronological flow of the uh, procedures, write an equation, tell us how the gas can be dried, uh, uh, name the drying agent, you talk about the method of gas correction, and then you will be safe. So let us look at procedures, procedures of how we can prepare this gas called sulfur dioxide in the laboratory. We are saying the reagents, the reagents we are having sodium sulfide, a solid sodium sulfide, and dilute sulfuric acid. Not concentrated, we are using dilute. Mark that one. With concentrated sulfuric acid, it is basically a drying agent. So we are saying condition for the reaction conditions for the reaction uh, the heating is required heating is required but when we are considering different reagents the reaction can as well take place at room temperature so we are saying the reaction uh, the reaction uh, the reaction can take place, can take place at room temperature, at room temperature. However, the mixture is warmed gently to drive out the sulfur dioxide gas, which would otherwise dissolve in cold water. So the procedures, we say that sodium sulfide is pressed into a, a round bottom flask. Sodium sulfide is placed into a round bottomed flask fitted with cork, fitted with cork, a delivery tube. And 
thisto and a thisto, or which we call the dropping, the dropping funnel. The dropping funnel. So you are saying that youth sulfuric acid being a liquid is allowed to flow through the dropping funnel or delivery tube, and uh, then it meets the sodium sulfide, the reaction takes place. Uh, so we are saying that dilute sulfuric acid being a liquid is added onto sodium sulfide through a thistle funnel.